I'm here today with Steve Harris. He is the president of the Association of Fine Woodworkers here in Arizona, which I am a proud member. How are you doing today, Steve? I'm doing just great. Excellent. Nice to see you. Now, how long have you guys actually had a booth at the show here? This is our second year at this location. When the show was produced over at the fairgrounds, we had several years of uh, association with the show. Excellent, excellent. Uh, how long has the association been around? Like, when, when was it actually? Uh... Our association started in 1983. Okay. And it started out as an organization to make toys for handicapped children, for underprivileged children. And we still do that to this day. We actually delivered over 3,000 toys last year to hospitals, schools. That's beautiful. What is the, uh, the yearly association fee to be a member? Uh, a new member will pay $25 for, the first year, for every year, and on the first year we ask for an additional five to make the badges and do the paperwork. Well, and if you consider, I know for me, the discount that you get at all the local stores, at, at the Rocklers, Woodcrafts, all those stores. You make that up quickly. Yeah, you definitely make that up pretty fast. Uh, now, lastly, we'd just like to know uh, your opinion. Why should someone join a local guild or a local organization? If you're interested in woodworking, uh, we have such a, a diverse group of people with such a diverse group of skills and everybody seems to lean toward one type of specialty or another and it doesn't seem to matter what you want to learn there'll be somebody there to help you and everybody in, in the woodworking field seems to be just friendly and always willing to help and, and that's, that's how I ended up in this club by no, I, uh, I'm actually an act semi-active member. Uh, I don't get to go to as many of the meetings as I'd like to, but the ones that I have been to have been excellent. You can learn so much at these things, and I highly recommend looking up your local guild, your local association, and you'll meet a lot of great people, learn a lot of great things. Steve, thank you very much. Pleasure to see you again. Great to see you. Take care and enjoy the show. Thank you. Here we're standing with Mike Van Pelt, owner and operator of American Sycamore and tool guru. So, <laughs> very good. Yes. So, what brings you to the woodworking show, Mike? Well, I'm here with uh, representing Delta. I teach the uh, master clinics uh, demonstrations on the table saw, uh, bandsaw, joiner, planer, and dust collection management. Sounds like you're busy. Yes. So, how long have you been attending the shows? Uh, this is my second year uh, as a representative for Delta doing the master clinics, but in my career, um, I've been doing woodworking shows for over 20 years. Promoting those tools, right? Yes, promoting and selling tools. So what are some of the other cities that you're going to be visiting besides Phoenix? I'll ask you to, uh, <laughs> I know from week to week, uh, but uh, please visit my website at uh, www.aswrs.com uh, uh, and uh, we got a uh, Where's Waldo section and it'll tell you what cities and what we're up to at American Sycamore. So what's your general woodworking background? Um, industrial arts teacher and uh, found out that uh, um, that wasn't my cup of tea. I loved woodworking, but I didn't like the uh, babysitting part of that. So I uh, uh, started selling uh, equipment and tools and uh, always dreamed of having a shop and a, a place where I could share information with other woodworkers and uh, led me to establishing uh, American Sycamore. So what's new for 2007 American Sycamore? Uh, we've changed the shop all around, uh, new layout in the shop. Uh, Delta's provided us uh, with some new equipment this year and uh, now that uh, Porter Cable and DeWalt and Delta is all one big happy family under the Black and De Decker family. Uh, we're adding new DeWalt tools to our shop as well. Oh, that's great. So do you have a favorite tool? I would say the Unisol, the Delta Unisol. Nothing says I love you like a Delta Unisol, the perfect gift. <laughs> so do you have any advice for new woodworkers that are just starting out and setting up their shop on a budget? Um, yes. I would uh, recommend that they, that they go to school, whether my school or anyone's school, uh, the education that's available today didn't exist 20 years ago. Uh, what they could learn in a week at a class or a seminar uh, would be hard to learn to yourself in five or six years. Uh, that way you'll, you'll be armed with some information when it does come to buy an equipment and you won't get hurt and be safe. Well, you have a great time at the show, and thanks so much for speaking with us. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Very -bye. Bye. <laughs> <Bring> nice. <on. laughs> all in all, I would say it was a pretty successful 
2000, what year is it? 2006 woodworking show. Honestly, if you go to the woodworking show and you go home and you feel energized and you're happy and you're just, you know, just full of energy, you didn't do it right. You basically, if you're not tired, if your feet don't hurt, if you're not losing your voice, you didn't really do what you're supposed to do at the show. There's just so much to see here. There's so many different booths, manufacturers. To, uh, uh, there's so much to learn, not just buy. Um, you should be walking out of here with your head pounding with knowledge, your uh, wallet sagging with use, and uh, your feet should be killing you from all the walking around. So very good experience this year. Did I have fun? Um, I had a stop looking at me. I had a great time, actually. We met uh, quite a few new people that we didn't get to meet last year. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the Wood Show, even if you go home empty-handed, is always an awesome experience. There's a ton of free information. You just get, you know, a lot of hands-on with tools if you've got uh, questions on two different types of tools. You know, you, you see a Powermatic and a Delta. They make almost the same type of tool. Uh, you want to know what they look like in person, which one uh, would suit your particular needs. You can come here and actually look at it, talk to the reps, maybe get some hands-on on a machine. You just you just can't beat it. It's a really effective way to uh, to shop and to, to compare different items. I would also like to uh, take a minute to thank the Woodworking Show staff and the uh, the management that allowed us to do this in the first place. I know it's a little unconventional, it's something different that they haven't really done, but I think if uh, if this is a sign of, of their willingness to embrace the future and the types of technology that are out there, I think it's a really good sign for the woodworking shows in general. Um, really everything's about the internet these days and that's what we're all about too. So I think it's a really effective way for them to spread the word and for people to see what the woodworking shows have to offer. So I think right now we're going to sit for a little bit and uh, get a breather and then I think it's off to Boston Market for some meatloaf healing and, uh, and then we're going to go home. So all in all, awesome show this year and uh, we'll be back next year. So bye. Ladies and gentlemen, the soothing sounds of Nicole. Do, 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 do.